work with their parents in their trade. In the year 171, the Fourth Era, the Thalmor and all married Dominion declared war against the Empire. It was not long into this war that Thalmor agents were sent to hunt down those who were outspoken former citizens and kill them. Corinneth watched in horror as her parents were chased from their shop and run down in the streets. As the Thalmor agent turned the attention to her, an Imperial Legate grabbed her and pulled her to safety. She was left an orphan in the war like so many others. Unlike others, however, she had a new parent. The officer that had saved her from the Thalmor had formed a strong bond during their short time together before she was dropped off at the orphanage. Heard that she had no one, and with hostility towards Altmer kind, still at an all-time high, he knew it would be tough for her to find a new family. So, as the peace was signed, he signed to adopt her. Their life together was rocky, though not for a lack of love. He had fought bravely in the war and received many honors, but also many wounds. These wounds caused great physical pain and limited his ability to do work. Due to the immense cost of the war, the Legion discharged many, even those who had fought greatly and were great heroes, and didn't receive any Legionnaire's pension. Corinth would take on errand jobs at a young age and manual labor jobs to help support them. He would take on teaching and work and tell his war stories for coin to travelers in the end. As years went on, her stepfather's health failed and only after a brief 15 years he had passed. After this passing, things got both more difficult and easier. She no longer had to work to support both of them and had more time to study something which she had always since she was always pushed to do by her stepfather before being distracted by one of his war stories she got a job as an innkeeper's assistant but while she did her job without any fault many continued to question whether her loyalties were truly belonged to the empire while her stepfather was alive he would defend her and remind those accusers of what happened to her parents now with him gone the accusers even began to question the validity of that argument the abusers were mostly verbal, though there were occasional gropings. As the years passed, though, the distrust grew until finally a group of young men, many of whom had lost brothers and fathers in the war, tried to assault her. She forced them back down, to back down, but the damage was done and her job at the end was gone. With nowhere to turn, she recalled her stepfather's firm belief and trust in the Legion, even if they had been unable to pay him. With nothing else for her in Cyrodiil. Oh, yeah. She turned up at the local garrison to join up. The guards turned her away, but she dropped her stepfather's name, and the garrison commander had been a lowly foot soldier under her stepfather and was delighted to hear that she wanted to serve. However, the Empire still short on funds, and <clears throat> non-essential garrisons were to be minimally manned. It was with the defeated look on her face that the prompted the commander to offer an alternative. Skyrim, he told her, was in a worse way than the Empire had led on, and they were unable to make any headway putting down the Stormcloak Rebellion. If she truly wanted to serve the Legion, Skyrim was her best bet. With nothing else for her in Cyrodiil, she set off for Skyrim, armed only with a tattered innkeeper's clothes and a letter of writ to join the Legion. She made her way north. Shortly after crossing the border, she found herself in what appeared to be an Imperial encampment. Hoping to present her letter to the company's commander, she wandered in. Only it wasn't an encampment, it was an ambush set for the leaders of the rebels. She found herself knocked unconscious by a horse, and when she awoke, she had been stripped of her belongings, including her letter of writ, and was headed to God knows where as a prisoner. Her arrival in Helgen was met with disastrous news, as she, like others, was to be put to death. Clearly a misunderstanding, but without her letter on her, she could not prove her intentions otherwise. As her head lay upon the stone, a black figure appeared and landed on the keep before her. Dragon, of all things, <clears throat> a great fortune or a great disaster, regardless, an opportunity for her to escape presented itself as she rushed from the chopping block, hands still bound. She ran into an Imperial officer who commented notably that she was not on the list and therefore not meant for the headsman block. She would stick with him and follow him into the keep and to safety. <laughs> eventually escape from the burning inferno behind. And that, folks, is where we meet our hero.
right here in Skyrim. Alright, so the way I'm going to run this playthrough is simple. I'm not going to do any quests, I'm not going to do any ruins, I'm not going to explore anything unless prompted. <clears throat> so, with any... ...will get myself in position to start murdering people. Because Skyrim's only f adventuring, right? <clears throat> I don't like the fact that the NPCs run. Hey, we got some wolves coming up. Die, wolfy bastard. The tradecraft is giving her some basic blacksmithing skills. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna run this. Don't you why are you biting me? Hmm? Why are you biting me? Why? I will admit, this is I've been uh, been waiting to play for a while. I have two other playthroughs going on, right now, but I don't know something about this stream playthrough. Just I really wanted to play it. Let's <laughs> be Alvor. I do have a um, long list of mods running in this game, including one which uh, will explain why exactly it is that I'm taking all the food, which I normally, in a normal playthrough, you wouldn't necessarily want to do. Um, let's see here. I am just a bit thirsty. So I have I need real needs and diseases here um, that is going to make this playthrough kind of interesting because my the way my setup is with the real needs and diseases means that I'm going to have to eat and sleep. So I gotta be keeping that in mind. Hey, Cannon. Um, yeah, that was we did pretty well, didn't we? We did some pretty good stuff. Uh, I hope you stick around for the uh, the Skyrim live stream. It's not not too bad. Uh, it should be pretty stuff there for you. I'm gonna put my first skill set into steel smithing because I want. want steel armor right from the get-go and I think that's going to do it for me all right Got my steel armor Let me get that on heavy armor is good stuff. If I can take those boots I think I can take those gauntlets and those on All right, now I got stuff to sell, so let's go into the trader here, and we'll get that out of the way. Well, 
Oh, what's going on here? Thieves. Did something happen? <clears throat> well, I certainly didn't expect to uh, find myself already tasked with an adventure right off the bat. I do need to sell stuff, though. Let's see. Weapons. I can get rid of that, because I don't need it. Sell, sell, sell. Uh, keep the longbow for now, I suppose. Sell the boots. Now let's sell the armor. Uh, I'm gonna keep those for a little bit. All right. So this is your plan, Lincoln? Yes. So now you don't have to go. Do you? Oh really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Hmm. No. By the eight, fine, but only to the edge of town. Well, oh, guide would be wonderful, even if it is just to the edge of town. Well, you know. Can you? She seems to be stuck. <laughs> oh, there we go. Not a sh characters in this game, that's for sure. Camilla, for your wonderful presence. He wants the claw. Claw it is. I have that other quest, and I do need to join the lead. Eventually. But for now, I think I'll maybe get my room and figure out where it is that I am. Oh. Get it on. We got watching. Just a few. Well, that's fine. <clears throat> so there's a couple, a couple of different ways that you uh, people end up devolving into for play style. A lot of people will ultimately all stealth archers, and thanks to the background character, stealth archer is not for her. Oh, some people up here. Oh, they seem to be hostile. The uh, the other thing that I have here is I have the 
wet and cold mod on. And so what that's going to do is, oh my god, that's a big backpack. <laughs> so what it's going to do is it's going to add some uh, pretty cool effects too. And it's going to add things like backpacks, hoods, and cloaks that I can be, uh, that I can pick up. Oh, I need that bow. There we go. So the backpacks are going to add extra carrying capacity, which is great. So well, that backpack's a little bit big for me. Still, though, adds in an extra 30 carry weight. Alright, those bandits are deal with. I'm feeling a bit tired. Slight impact the game. Might impact my ability to uh, regenerate some health. Alright. Let's get up here. Mochi bird. Mochi bird. Oh, where'd you come from? You wanna go? Yeah, let's go. Murder you. Oh, you have a you have a smaller knapsack. Maybe. Oh, a face cover. That might prove to be useful. Not right now, but when uh, Frostfall gets added in later on. It will turn into a very useful, very useful item. Is that it? Any more enemies? Oh, yeah, there's one. Let's do this. Well, you were disappointingly easy. Wait, what am I saying? I want easy. <laughs> easy is safe. Easy is good. Put that on two. Quick swapping of weapons. You know, like any first-person shooter. And so basically what I know here is that pretty much everybody is trying to kill me in here. Um... So, that being said, I'm going to want to kill everything. I used to play The Division, um, but they put on two-factor authentication without me going, and I've been too lazy to go and deal with getting it back off there, so I haven't played The Division in a long time, and Honestly, I probably won't go back to it. Um, maybe, maybe at some point. Alright. More arrows. Steel ingot, perfect. Hmm. In case you're wondering, there's a trick to uh, there's a trick to lock picking in this game. If you're playing with uh, really high textures, you look at that lock. You can see all these little markings. And if you come across a master lock and you've got enough lock picks, you can just slowly hone in on the uh, the location just by the markings. Um, let's see. I always like to run Bleak Falls Barrow first. Because the dialogue you get from Tharangar and Whiterun is uh, so much more fun. Alright. Switch back to this bad boy. Let's do this.
You tried to hide behind. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Puzzles. Puzzles, puzzles, puzzles. Snake, snake, whale. It's regenerating its health. That one's dead. What you doing? What you doing, son? You want some? Get some! Get some! That just leaves one left. He ain't coming up the stairs, so... Okay. Pit talking. I don't think that's going to be a necessary skill for me. Okay. Paralysis poison. Be good. Hmm. Weapons, great sword. Let's take this out. All right, let's get. Uh, let's no, I can't do that, can't I? Um, let's see here. Potions, poison, weak paralysis, poison. You mean don't let it get you. You're already got by it. You are too big to fit through this door. This is funny. I don't know if I trust this guy. You're the man who stole it, so... And all your people have attacked me. So, screw you. You can die. Oh, I feel bad. I shouldn't have killed him. He could have been nice, for all I know. Oh shit! The dead, the dead are waking up. And I have no more arrows, so... Back to it is with you. Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> oh, that Draugr just... That's funny. Hey, Freddy, welcome back. We're playing uh, Skyrim Special Edition. If you click on the link in the chat up there, I don't know if it shows up or not. I'll post it again here. If you click on the link, the imager link, you can get the background for the story. Haha. <laughs> To the character that I'm currently playing. 
And I always like playing a character with a good, in-depth background, because it just makes the game more fun. Gives you motivations to do things that you might not necessarily have thought about doing. And I think it's uh, I think it's an enjoyable way to play something like uh, Skyrim. Man, that Draugr had a shit ton of gold on him. Level up here. Stamina. Oh, I got two levels. Nice. Double stamina. Archery one. Yeah, I do need. Hmm. I do need to get my archery skill up. Let's go, Jogger. Oh, where'd you come from? You wanna go? Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah, Freddy, I don't know how long ago left, but you missed some pretty epic battles there. Um, <laughs> you can check out, I think I think that video should be available if you go to my Twitch videos, you should be able to watch that whole whole live stream bit. It was pretty good with a couple of uh, couple of really close battles right down to the end of it. Definitely worth checking out. More Draugr bastards. Let's do this, Draugr. Murder the Draugr. Finish him. Get some. These just keep coming. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely recommend it. I think I did five battles in total, and won four of them, so a good day. <laughs> it was a good day for the enemy to die, basically. Although the last battle I had was in my Missouri, and that was a, that was a bit epic. <clears throat> had an Iowa who knew he was dead meat, so he rammed me. <laughs> Alright, more Draugr, more death. Well, this point of these draggers don't have nice things on them. No reason to have my sword out if I don't need to. Pickaxe. Yeah, the Missouri's pretty good. She's a pretty nice ship. Um, plays like the Iowa, though. So, if you haven't yet, I would check out my How to Iowa video, because my How to Iowa video came out today, and looked pretty good. Die, Draugr. Get some. I am an explorer, an adventurer. Wow, it's already noon. Um, I think I need that. Okay. Hey, Tier 6 American BBs are fantastic. They're great. I mean, just look at any of my New Mexico stuff. You know, go watch go watch those videos, and hopefully you can come back and play the New Mexico, you know, at Unicum status. Get some, Draugr. Get some, Draugr. Ow. Alright. 
Die, Draugr. He got some. That's what he got. <clears throat> Self-healed up here. Alright, let's see, that was right around there. Uh, a little more. Nope, it's going back the other way. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, I was that way with World of Tanks. Played every every line all at once. World Warships, though, I had the advantage of being in the open beta, which meant that there were only two lines to choose from. So it didn't matter much. Hey, right, Jogger, you gonna come down? You come down. Burn, baby, burn. I have a new voicemail. That's interesting. Oh, he's going to run into it, too. That's funny. Makes my life easy. to show up. What the hell? That's annoying. Hmm. Let's see what are my affected statuses right here. Mild hunger, a little bit hungry. Uh, I think I have some food. Already getting late. Wow. Already getting late. Oh. All right, Draugr Overlord. Goodbye, Draugr. It's been nice knowing you. Get that enchant there. Hmm. Blessed sword. Alright. I think I've got what I want. Let's get the hell out of here. I think what I'm going to do, I'll do this playthrough one hour at a time. Oh, that fall nearly killed me. 
Gotta heal myself up. Maybe we'll get the claw back to Lucan. And then, given the lateness of the hour, I think what I will do is I will get Lucan's claw back. Um, maybe. I might just head straight to the inn and rent a room. Which is getting a bit tired. Oh, come on, let's let's do this, Wolf. <laughs> you decided you didn't want to do this, did you? Deal the death blow. Alright. I think I might be able to cross the river... You know what? Screw it. I'm going for a swim. Bit all my armor. Least realistic thing about this game. Although there's a mod to fix that, I'm sure. And there will be soon enough. Try and get back to Riverwood as quickly as possible. It is very, very late. As you can see, it's almost 10 o'clock. Getting tired. I'm now wet. <clears throat> I have stuff I need to sell. Although I think I might have the materials now to uh, to make a steel greatsword. Hey, what do you need, my friend? Okay. Okay. Oh. There we go. I'm that visitor been poking around. What do you mean poking around? It's not my bed. There's my bed. All right, guys. I think this is where we're going to leave our wonderful character tonight. Sleep for eight hours, get nice and rested up, and then we will start our next quest and adventure next week. If that uh, seems suitable for everybody. System, save, first save, let's do this. Hey guys, that's it for today's live streaming. I hope you had a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And of course, join me again next week at, well, maybe, we'll see. Uh, join me again sometime for more World of Warships and more Skyrim Special Edition. If you'd like to help support me, you can do so by hitting that donate button down at the bottom of the uh, video there, or you can visit my Patreon and donate there if you'd like to. Anyway guys, have a wonderful day. This is Captain Rye, 